evening as he goes up against Jason Ballesteros. Yeah, that's for sure. And uh, in the in the there's the aggression as well. The steal and the layup for Robbie Manala. Just behind, of course, Bobby Baltazar. Kenny Rojo Curva for two. Oh, that guy. Yeah, Coach Boy Fernandez. 29 minutes played per game for Robbie Manalang. 28 for Costello and 27 for Kenny. As Andre Flores gives us a three pointer. Oh, confidence that he gained. Sobra, sobra talaga. Oh, he did have 15 points with six. Oh, we would love to see that. Martin Enriquez all the way for two. And this guy also just plays unconsciously. But it's for Robbie. Oh. Manalam, the bounce to Kenny. Mid range. He gets the bounce. As we just heard the rain from outside. And Robbie. Robbie Manalam lost the handle. He recovers. Papapaganda ba? Papapaganda nga. Mukhang papo. Sabi ko kayo ng Pasig City. On how they play basketball is so much beauty. Alam mo, ang ganda. We viewed each and every possession. Oh, nandun na kasi yung flow ng laro. And uh, it's just a matter when the defense will commit its mistake. Tinayan with Coach Boyet and his players. Kung papaano sila magiging creative. You can see he's really bothered so far with the defense of Jason Ballesteros. And there's the breakaway for Ryan Costello. Oh, oh and talking about fast break point. Gamit siya. Oh, oh kung maglalaro siya. Because uh, he's been nursing that hamstring. Hindi niya nakakatakbo ng maayos. Oh, oh. How about that? Ryan Costello season for Pasig City was by 40 against the Beacon Volcanoes. They're well on pace to surpass that as Andre Flores scores inside. After all, ito nga namang si John Wilson ay ang MVP natin in season 3 as Kenneth Sumalakay scores. Now down to 50% as well. Costello by Chong. Inside, it's basket and one. Oh, okay. And Costello did. It wasn't the game changer. The game changer was Tyrone Chan. But Tyrone only had a few points in the first half. He had to read. Oh, there's so much chemistry between those two players. Kick out here. Kenneth Sumalakai. Three pointer again. Three points. Oh, 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 Tyrone Chan and Alvin Baichong. Oh, oh, oh. Pag nagpapat, pag pinapahinga ni Coach Oji si Jason. rotation, who will click on the floor? Plus consistent. Approaching the Tyson playoffs, natin. this is not the most talented team that we have in the MPBL. As Robbie Manala makes his third three pointer. Everybody, pero in role playing, important. For but you, why do you think they prefer having up by 26? That's daylight for Tonton. Oh, and you know, even if there's Jake Bagwan passing the ball from the inbound, and now it's two points coming in from BJ Nina. Lilang naman yung uh, and you can see it you can see it wherever I go. Naniniwala ako talaga doon and uh, it's really hard hard work really works. Mm -hmm. Guard. Uh, so in, in their first group it's uh, Roger Rakukurva. Yes. Should put bigla na lang susul pagod. <laughs> bigla na bigla ka na lang. Ooh. <laughs> in this game. Oh, Tyrone Chad beats the buzzer with a jumper. Oh, uh, ayun alam mo yun. Another five minutes in the second. That's two points for Jake Bagon. You can see Botan, he is for Pasig City. Oh, oh, naman. Oh, reverse layup from Jake Bagon. Joke ba yan? Toto yun? Alright, so we just got confirmation from our Lord Director, Tick Boy. Sabi niya, halimaw daw. Take Martin Enriquez. Follow here. And the floor is converted. But focuses on the only two factors. Hindi sila ma out rebounded dahil kulang sila sa side. Hindi na time out or end quarter. Kaya hindi na siguro natin nakita. Oh, well, thank you, Sheila, for that update. Actually, I do want to break down a lot of players of QC. Sabi ni Sheila sampo. As Jeff Lorenzo will have a breakaway layup here. I ask you, Coach. Meron na Coach Boyet. By time ng playoff, halos na sa eight na lang yan. Walo no. Well, that's usually the sweet spot. Ryan Costello, Jeff Lorenzo, to beat the buzzer! That's good! Kaming nasanay naman tumira, mag-shoot doon. Ang pinakamasaya, bataan. Kasi habang tumitira ka, pwede mong panoorin yung sarili mo habang tumitira. 3.28. Seven and a half minutes in the third. Kim Lo. Back up to Kojak. Melegrito on the one-two. 
mo yung mga ganun mo playing really well uh, and healthy. Ay, nung kasi yun yung isa nagiging-question kay Ryan. Eh. Ooh, three-pointer for Robbie Manalang. Oo, oh, and uh, ayun naman ang kasama niya second unit. Point guard naman siya doon. As oh. Joe Sanime scores inside. You think he can be like a dark horse for passing in their rotation sa playoffs? Oh, pero hindi rin yung paglalaro ng tama. More important para dun sa in respect dun sa organization nila. Kasi alam mo yung, alam mo yung mahina. Eh. Alam mo yung medyo may playoff coach to being a playoff coach and now to being a champion coach. And, alam, basta you have to in, kasi investment yun eh. Time is always a third game. Chavenia by Chong. Hook shot is good. So you're cloud. Yeah, the game slowed down, no? Absolutely. Here in the third frame. A lot more calls and misses. Lang. Chavenia. Al trying to escape. Great defense there by Enriquez. Unfortunately, Enriquez still lost. <laughs> so he has stays. Ooh. Nice defense right there by Lorenzo. And he has a basket. On the number 96, Al Chavenia, turnover. Pedrosa escapes, and there's the layup. Gising, depende sa gising, eh. Oo, eh. Pero, you know, may talent naman siya, and he can help his team in terms of, alam mo yun, scoring, yung kanyang mga three points, gaining experience, or been away from the game for a while, for, for quite some time already. So, hindi ganun kabilis. And to your point, in the third quarter, oh, naka-uniform naka sa gilid. Mukhang... May injury pa rin itong si Errol Soriano. So, ubus talaga yung front line nila pero mo wala nang wala ka nang Kenji Roman. Wala kang Errol Soriano. Isa pa eh. Ryan Costello in trouble. Couldn't score by Chong on the putback. Ah, oh, Britman. Oh, oh sabay, sabay daw sila uuwi eh. <laughs> Umabog yung kasi. <laughs> Para mas safe. Also, in this season, naagawan niya si Ryan Costello. Pero okay lang kay Ryan dahil mag-best friend naman sila. Three-pointer here for Martin and Vigas. Ha, yung 96 na yun, dapat nga daw 12, pero yun na ang number ni Tyron. Vigas and Coach Louis? There you have it! As a player, and, and he knows that. And he is sorry for that. Because <laughs> he knows that that's not how the rest of the Imus VIPs for making it all happen. alley you from the sideline. Great pass by Bolaño on the Lander Cannon. Actually, he has been a, an import overseas for a couple of years now as Jay and Berge makes a three-pointer from the corner. Brian Magunas is actually supposed to play for Imus. He's following talaga dito ng volleyball ever since. Oh, and guess what? To our MBBL fans, as Martin Enriquez drains a three-pointer, sometime soon, in favor of Pasig City, J. Ember J. from downtown. That's good. <laughs> Tuwan tuwa si RV at yung pamilya nila dito sa gilid. Ayan po sila. Ayan It's built on defensive defensive uh, culture, di ba? And I did mention, Coach Boyd was unhappy during halftime. At this point, mahirap pasahin. As Enriquez fires and scores. Oh, imagine. Ayan ang babalikan niya. Naka 70 points. And that is... Then Gabo on the score in the first half as Bolaño scores inside. 45 seconds to go. BJ Nina. He pulls up. Nice shot. Then you know, all of most of their shots. 94-72. Tyrone Chan on the escape.